Getting a good picture of the Milky Way is easy. All you have to do is aim your camera at the galaxy's band and take a long exposure shot. You can achieve better quality images by stacking many frames using a software like PixInsight, Deep Sky Stacker, or even Photoshop. To achieve the best results, you will need to track the sky to allow for longer exposures and reduce the appearance of star trails. This can be tiresome, as you may need a heavy motorized mount or a small tracking device that runs on batteries. In this review, we are excited to share that you may not need either of these devices to track the sky. We sometimes use our Atlas EQG motorized mount as a tracker to image the Milky Way, as well as capturing some wider deep sky astrophotography with a camera lens. You can see the entire process in episode 8 of Galactic Hunter, where we image Barnard's loop using our Canon 7D Mark II camera with a 50mm lens, which we attach to our Atlas EQG mount. Although this option works really well and yields beautiful results, it has its downsides. A motorized mount like the Atlas EQG is bulky, it's heavy, and takes a while to set up. We spoke to OPT about small trackers, and they introduced us to this Omegon mechanical tracker. We are gracious that they let us borrow one to try out and review. At first glance, it is a lightweight device, does not require an app to polar align, and does not need batteries to operate. Is it too good to be true? Let's test it out. The Omega Mini Track LX2 was created by Christian Fatinanzi, an Italian astronomer that partnered with Omega to distribute his invention all over the world. The Mini Track LX2 is a camera mount that attaches to any tripod and tracks stars with great accuracy. It is perfect for anyone who enjoys wide field imaging of the night sky, time lapses, and nighttime nature photography. As of now, it is what we consider the easiest and most affordable product to get amazing photographs of the Milky Way, large constellations like Orion, or deep sky objects like the Andromeda Galaxy and Rho Fuji. The Minitrack LX2 is capable of tracking the sky for one full hour before needing to be reset without the use of a battery. How is it possible? The mount is 100% mechanical and works like a clock. To start the timer, you must wind up the device using the knob then launch your series of photos. Once the full hour has passed, the timer will ring, letting you know that the mount is about to stop tracking. If you would like to keep imaging, all you have to do is wind up the mount again. You will also have to make sure to reframe the target. Speaking of targets, the Omega Mini Track LX2 is great for lots of deep sky objects, but excels most at Milky Way photography. We kept our main DSLR camera, the 7D Mark II, to record this review because of its nice low light capabilities, and were lent a cheaper Canon camera by a friend of ours. Despite it not being as great as a 7D Mark II, the tests we've done were all impressive. Here's our very first shot of the Milky Way band. One minute of exposure at 24 millimeters. We could have taken several of these and stacked them later to get a much cleaner and more detailed result but we actually focused on a different target that night, which we'll show you later in this video. We then wanted to attach our 50mm lens and do a comparison between the 30 second photo with and without the tracker. As you can see, 30 seconds at 50mm shows lots of star trailing without using the tracker. With the tracker though, all the stars appear pinpoint and crisp. Here is an image of two single shots of one minute each stacked together. We did not calibrate it with any dark or bias frames, and did a really really quick stacking. You can see that deep sky objects within the Milky Way band, like the Lagoon or Trifid Nebula, start to become much more noticeable. We could have stacked a full hour of exposure time after that night, but we once again decided to focus on a different target to fully test this product. Before we talk about what comes in the box, know that there is a few different versions of the LX2. The first one is going to be the Omega Mini Track LX2, 
which only tracks in the northern hemisphere and it runs for about $129. Then we have the LX2 NS, which tracks both the northern and the southern hemisphere for $159. And the last one is going to be the LX2 set, which comes with a mini tracker for the northern and southern hemisphere, as well as a ball head adapter. Which costs? $189. And we think this is the best one, I mean... <sighs> I mean, for us, we think just in terms of use, if you were going to take it anywhere that you wanted, um, then you can use it both the northern and the southern hemisphere, as well as having this attachment, which helps you angle it in any which way that you'd like. Yeah, if you're going to pay for this product, you might as well just get the NS set, which can... So, I mean, we never went to the southern hemisphere before to image, but um, if we ever go to, um, you know... If we ever go to the southern hemisphere, Cuba, so. <laughs> then we can image from there. Yeah. Here is what came in the box. The mini track mount. A polar finder tube. The components for southern sky tracking. A 1 4th to 3 8 of an inch adapter and 1 4th to 1 4th adapter and an OM8 Pro Ball head. While opening the box, our first thought was that there was a lot of small pieces and it would take hours to put it together. However, that was not the case, as the product was ready to be attached to our tripod in just 3 minutes. What is deceiving when opening the box is the parts for the southern hemisphere that you need to attach in a specific way with the included screws in order to reverse the tracking of the mount. There is also another piece, the polar finder, that simply attaches to the side of the mini track in seconds. Included is a note explaining how to obtain the PDF manual online and other resources. We suggest taking a look at the manual before handling the device to avoid damage as it should be considered delicate due to its mechanized innards. As mentioned before, this tracker is mechanical and works like a clock, so you do not want to mess with the gear system inside. If you watched our first video on this device, you can see that we have no problem making it work within several minutes after unboxing it. The Omegon MiniTrack LX2 is 8.2 inches in length, 3 inches in width, and 1.2 inches in height. It is similar in size to other sky trackers and could fit well in the backpack. It weighs about 15 ounces, which is nothing compared to a motorized mount. It is noticeably lighter than other small trackers. Mounting is on a tripod and attaching the camera is simple. Screw in the tracker to any tripod like you would with any regular DSLR camera. It is best to have a sturdy tripod, especially if your camera and lens are heavy. Attach the ball head to the tracker, followed by your camera. Slide the polar finder tube through the small hole dedicated to it. Using the tube, find Polaris. Your polar alignment can be rough and you should just try to get the North Star in the center of you, as best as you can. Finally, make sure to lock your tripod on all axes and don't move it or bump into it for the rest of the night or you will need to polar align again. All you need to do now is to point your camera to the desired target and begin tracking. Note that you will have to set the springs on the correct settings first, because they act as a counterweight and their position depends on which direction your camera is pointed. We found this to be the only tricky part of the whole process, but Omegon has a really easy to follow graph on their online manual explaining how to use the springs. So we did an image of Milky Way Mush with this tracker. Uh, it's actually one of the best things to image uh, with it but we didn't have that many good nights recently, so we, weren't, we wanted to really try uh, the product on different types of targets. And so after doing a few test shots of the Milky Way itself, we tried some other objects. So we changed the camera lens to a 50 millimeter lens and we pointed it over to Rofuchi and we didn't really expect much, um, but you know, 
within the 40 minutes that we did the exposure, we had really amazing results. And this wouldn't be achieved without a tracking device. If the tracking is perfect, the, the stars are really pinpoint. And then we tried a different type of target again, which would be a constellation. Um, so since the tracker is really good for wide field imaging, we tried um, Cygnus, which is a really large constellation. And um, we spent 30 minutes on it. And as you can see, I mean, it yielded great results. It was more than we really could have anticipated. It's only 30 minutes and you know, there's so many stars in Cygnus all around it. Um, it's just so many stars and all of them are just tracked perfectly. There is no star trailing at all. And you can really see the, the constellation. We haven't tried using a telephoto lens. Uh, we should have, but our skies are really been bad recently. Yeah. I, I know it's always the same excuse, but it's true. But uh, the tracker should uh, be able to to track at you know 300 millimeter. Probably not for a long time, but um. But you should, can do it. You could do it, yeah. We consider the MiniTrack LX2 to be a great asset for any imaging session. It is small, easy to carry around, light, and you never have to worry about keeping extra batteries ever. It is really great for impromptu outings or on hikes to photograph the Milky Way constellations, and works well for deep sky objects as well. In short, we would definitely recommend this product whether you're a beginner or intermediate sky photographer. We are packing up this tracker for now. We hope to be able to review more products like this and share more innovative ways to image our beautiful night sky.